People who are blind or vision impaired need a level of service to help them to retain their mobility and to retain their independence and to do the things which those of us that are not vision impaired take for granted. And Irish Guide Dogs is the, is the cog which really makes that happen. Having had Murphy for over five years, I've experienced the benefits of it. I would definitely recommend a guide dog to other people. I'm not blind. I do have some residual vision. My vision is impaired from an eye disease that I have. Many people think you have to be totally blind to get a guide dog, but that's not the case. If you do have a vision impairment, but a guide dog will be of benefit to you, you can, you can apply. They do find the dog that will suit you. For a guide dog, the breeding program entails us supplying enough dogs that are trainable. The characteristics that we look for in a dog, first of all, willingness to please. The dog has to be happy and enjoy what it's doing. Does the dog have initiative? Has it, is it bright? So you know that by repeating uh, an exercise in obedience and you'll see how quickly the dog learns. We've also gone into the area of uh, independent living skills training, being able to be independent in the home or in your workplace. Independent living skills is any skills that you do from when you wake up in the morning to when you go to bed at night. It can be anything from putting your toothpaste onto the toothbrush or it can be cooking roast dinner on a Sunday. The orientation and mobility class or the, the long cane training class is where people come to the residential centre in Cork to learn how to use the long cane. Picture yourself walking along your main street, it's strewn with obstacles which we don't even notice in the sighted community. Somebody loses their sight and they don't have the, the skills and the confidence necessary to get out and do the same kind of routes. If they come to learn how to use the long cane, that gives them the confidence to do the same kind of things that they've always done. More recently we have uh, started to train uh, families of children with autism by providing them with an assistance dog to work with their child. My son's name is Sean. Our assistance dog is called Dexter. Sean's eight so we know about the autism since uh, he was three. So you know we've had five years of trying lots of different things and this is the most positive thing we've ever done. His self-esteem, his self-confidence has just exploded. It's been amazing. He's acting more independently. It's like, because he's responsible for somebody else, he needs to know where he's going and what he's doing, and, and he's, he's comfortable and happy to do that, which is really exciting for us. We would not be in a position to offer our services were it not for the support that we receive from the public. 85% of our annual income comes from voluntary donations or fundraising activity. Every fundraiser is important, whether it's small or big. Sometimes something that takes very little effort can generate a huge amount of awareness in a community as well as much needed funds. Check out our fundraising events taking place around the country on our website, guidedogs.ie, or you can email us at fundraising at guidedogs.ie. When we talk about our services, we talk about the impact that those services have on people. Uh, every day here, we're working with people, all ages, from all backgrounds, in different parts of the country. And through our services, their lives are improved.